The ACL is important in so many athletic movements. For some examples, let's go to pro soccer player Stuart Holden. Now let's break down how the ACL functions as we play the games we love. If you missed our video introducing the ACL, click here for some basic info. Otherwise, you already know that it helps to stabilize the knee in both forward and backward translation and rotation. Here's how the ACL functions when you run. When your leg is on the ground and you're bearing weight, the tibia moves forward on the femur, then returns back to neutral when your leg is off the ground. An intact ACL will help keep the forward shift of the tibia in check during your stride. When your ACL is injured, the tibia will move too far forward, which puts stress on the secondary stabilizers of the knee. When you're cutting or pivoting, you're often planting your lead foot hard on the ground, stopping abruptly, and then propelling yourself in another direction. When you plant your foot, three large forces are introduced on your ACL. These are internal rotation, dynamic valgus, and anterior translation. If your muscles are weak or your technique is poor, these same forces can cause an ACL injury. When training, focus on building strength in your core and leg muscles and developing a sound sense of body control. Check out our video on ACL injury prevention to learn some exercises that can help keep you in the game. When kicking and throwing, having stability in your plant leg is essential for generating power. First, he plants his left leg firmly. When the knee is fully extended, there are several structures working together to provide stability. When each of these structures are in good shape, they work in unison to ensure that his body weight and momentum transfer efficiently to the ball. If your ACL is injured, the instability in your knee will decrease your ability to generate power. When jumping, your hips and knees flex to position yourself for maximum takeoff. Your body weight is shifted behind you, which puts stress on the stabilizers of your knee. Next, during propulsion, your body is transferring all of this built-up energy into the ground. A fully functioning ACL will provide the stable springboard your body needs to transfer force in the most efficient manner. When the ACL is damaged, the extra stress is distributed to the secondary stabilizers of the knee, which may lead to other injuries. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time at Ready, Set, Med.